name is Derek Donin. I'm the director of Kailash, which is having its world premiere in the U.S. documentary competition at the 2018 Sundance Film Festival. The movie is about Kailash Satyarthi and his 35-year journey to rid the world of child slavery and child labor in his lifetime. The Nobel Peace Prize for 2014 is to be awarded to Kailash Satyarthi for the struggle. It's one part his journey and how he risked everything, personally rescuing more than 85,000 kids. One part, the real-time story of the hunt for a missing boy named Sonu. And it's the story of children who we watch get rescued, relearning what it means to be a kid. Sonu, Sonu, right away, I wanted this film to be intimate and personal. I wanted to spend time with the kids who've been rescued. And I wanted to spend time with Kailash and his team as they plan a raid. My hope was that by connecting with the children, the audience would be able to put a face to the issue and to be able to understand the issue from a very human level. So how did you think about how you need to earn money in your mind? What is it necessary? No, I don't have money with them. I didn't have money with them. Then what was it? I went to my house and I went to my house. Over the last year or so, we spent about six months shooting in India. And really the only way for me to tell the story honestly was to spend a lot of time there, just getting to know them, knowing when to turn the camera on and when not to even have a camera with me. I went on a few raids with the team. I spent some time getting to know some of the kids he's rescued, and I just spent a lot of time with him, interviewing him, talking to him, to tell this hopeful story of an ordinary man who's done extraordinary things, who's dedicated his life to his work and to these children. Every project I do teaches me something about myself. I think that's the best part of being a documentary filmmaker is getting to travel the world and spend time with people that I would have never had the opportunity to spend time with and really get to know. I feel a responsibility as a storyteller to tell stories that can connect with people and make them care about the world around them. Each time a child is freed, is it not enough to be inspired?